my name is Tavis and today we are tackling something pink. Well, it's technically sort of red purplish right now, but it's gonna be pink when it's done with it. And that is the murky mech of Ronda Snort. The second in command, later on in command of Snort's Irregulars, my personal favorite mercenary unit. Now, to get this thing painted, I didn't actually have the right tone, so I just mixed up Army Painter's Ultramarine Blue and Pure Red in, I think, a four drops of blue and three drops of red in my airbrush, and then airbrushed it, and then I subsequently dropped my airbrush and broke it. So you have to go with paint the brush. The idea was airbrush to rest with, but you know, that, that didn't happen. So, okay. You know the drill by now. When layering paint, you simply take some nice, soft, slightly darker than you want paint because you don't do layers. You water down a bit with some either medium or just water and apply a few thin coats. Now, I'm terribly sorry with slightly wonkiness of this. We are trying a new camera setup and we are not really there yet. We are getting there, but we are not really there yet. Terribly sorry about that. Hope you survive. If you don't survive, well, I don't know. It's what it is. Anyway, for what it's worth, worth. If you are unfamiliar with ro the roaring, daring, capering, and stealing snorts irregulars, they are a odd mercenary unit, and um, they do have an outward appearance of being uh, obsessed with collecting stuff. But they're, they're actually after um, secret um, Star League caches of weapons and equipment. But they hide this under a guise of stealing worthless shit. So, once we lay down a solid la base layer of pink, we add some brighter pink. Do the whole thing over again. As a, you know this, you've seen this. Try to not hit all the areas already painted. Leave some up slack bit darker just to give it a bit of weathered look. Otherwise you just, just spray can. But this way you get a slightly weathered look to it, if it's not perfect. Still creamy and smooth, but not perfect. And once you're done with that, you add a bit of white or an even brighter pink to it. Lighter pink, not brighter, lighter. Those are two different things. We're gonna go through those two another day at some point. We can go through the difference between brighter and lighter. Lighter pink, more creamy, whitish. And you just go over everything another time. You make sure you have all the high areas, the risen areas, the things that would catch the light. You make sure those get properly hit. Then it's onto metal. I use lead belcher because I think lead belcher does a great job of covering up everything. But with that said, you have to understand that lead belcher cholera, cholera covers up everything. So if you make a mistake when painting on this, it's just back to fixing. So take some care. Now, if you don't have lead belcher or don't like silver paints, there are a multitude of metallic paints out there. Find your own favorites. Don't think you have to be brand loyal just because you think you have to be brand loyal. You do not have to be brand loyal when it comes to paints. If you like craft paints from your local craft store, best use that. There is no such thing as the best paint out there. I mean, unlike you like to mix your own paints, because then I would actually recommend Camera's single pigment paints, because they are great for mixing your own paints. But if you're the sort of person that mix your own paint, I'm pretty sure you have powders and sedatives. I was about to say sedatives, but I don't mean sedatives. Settings and stuff. You have. I think you have all you need in that case. But yeah, Camera is nice for mixing your own colors. You kind of have to because they don't have a broad range of paints, but they have single pigments. They are pure. And that's important. Uh, again, I will try to explain this in another video. I feel like I might have to do a video on the whole 
paint is thing. Anyway, now I'm wondering what is this? Well, this is panel liner. It's an oil paint from AK, but there's the yeah, Tamiya most known brand for this, and uh, basically it use capillary action to suck itself into crevices, panel lines, everything. I used very heavy hand like to replace null oil because my null oil is out and the new null oil ain't that good. But I still want to get some nice contrast into my metallics so we just pour this thing on it does a nice job. And if we get away from you you can use spirits to rub it off. Anyway, I also actually wrote heavy metal on the on the gun, but it looked like shit. It's not gonna show that. And I'm not kidding. It looked like shit. And I mean, I went so far as to fish out one on fish out one on my like fine liner pens to do it. So I tried to do the brush first. Not a good idea. Got up, got out a fine liner. Went better. Still not good, but better. So yeah. Writing with a brush is surprisingly hard. But yeah, not a particularly long video today, but also terribly sorry for one half being completely out of focus, but eh, we'll get better. This is a new setup, we're trying to figure out the kinks. If you like it, tell me so. If you don't like it, tell me you do something else instead. But until next time, stay safe, be kind, and do play fair. Bye.